The Stonega website template comes with a blog layout that is all ready to connect with your WordPress account through ShowIt. Now all the setup has already been done for you essentially, but there are a few features that I want to go over in this tutorial just to give you a better idea of how this connects with WordPress and which things you are able to change inside of ShowIt. Um, just to give you an overview of the page, uh, at the top you have a search by category section where you will indicate the different categories that you'll use inside of WordPress and then you will copy and uh, yeah, change the wording here and the links accordingly. You also have a search bar and at the very top you'll have this featured post canvas. Now this is also something that you will set in WordPress and then inside of Show It, you can indicate which uh, posts you want to pull from. Uh, we'll go into depth in that in just a minute, but essentially the user will be able to uh, use these arrows to click through and see the uh, post that you want to highlight at the top of your blog. As we scroll on down, you'll see that your main posts are all organized uh, in three columns, followed by a, a larger uh, canvas that is a bit more highlighted just to give some variation in the layout. So these will just kind of populate accordingly once your blog is live. So you'll have uh, these three columns followed by this uh, larger canvas. Then as we scroll down at the very bottom, you have a call to action, which will invite your uh, potential clients to go to your experience page to discover more about working with you. Before we go further, if you haven't already signed up for your show it plan and you want to blog and, in, and take advantage of the WordPress features, then you'll want to choose one of the plans that does include a blog. So the starter option is great if you're going to be starting a new blog. If, however, you already have a blog and you'll need one migrated into your ShowIt account, then it's best to take the advanced blog option. If you'd like to get one month free on your subscription, then see the description below where you will find my affiliate link. So once you've installed the template into your ShowIt account, you'll notice under the blog templates category that you have a few different uh, WordPress pages. Um, to start, you'll notice that there are a few pages that have delete in the title. Now these are set up to show you how, well, when you're viewing the demo, to show you how the blog should look once it's linked to your WordPress account and it's live. Um, now the actual you know, behind the scenes on the blog doesn't always look that smooth. So that's why we designers often create a demo page that will help give you an idea. Okay, this is how it will look once I'm blogging and once I have, you know, 10 or 12 or more posts that are live. So um, let's just take a quick look. Now this page like it says, you can just delete. This is set up, um, this is not linked to WordPress necessarily. Um, you can see there are no uh, placeholders here. So in fact, you can just come here when you're ready to and just um, click that fly out menu and then delete this page and then delete, delete the single post page as well. Now this is just a sample page to show you uh, what the, what each individual page will look like. But again, these are just for the demo version. So once you've installed this in your own account, then feel free to delete these pages. One thing that you will want to do, however, is make sure that all of your links are set to the appropriate page. So right now in the demo version, for example, um, if I click on blog here in the navigation, you'll see that under the click actions, it's set to the blog demo page, but this is the page that we're going to delete. You'll see all the others are set appropriately to the portfolio page, to the resources page, to the contact page, etc. Except for the blog, you'll want to come in and choose, instead of the blog demo, you'll want to choose the actual blog here. Now, you want to do this in the header. There are actually three main places to think about. One is the header. And the other one, or the other two, let's just uh, jump down here, um, the footer. In the footer, you'll want to do the same thing. So you'll want to come here, click blog, and change that to 
the blog page. And then finally, you'll want to come to the mobile navigation, click edit the mobile navigation, and then here, choose um, blog instead of the blog demo. Okay, let's have a look at the actual blog page. Um, the first uh, canvas is the hero and these are just this is just static content so I've selected the canvas if you look over here under the canvas title um, it's it's set to static content so this is not pulling anything from WordPress uh, so that means you can just come in here and treat this like any other canvas inside of show it and double click to select a different image and double click in here to change the text change the text here. Um, so you can do that for anything in this canvas. Let me just uh, go back. Okay, um, the following canvas is the categories. Now this is also static content. So what you'll want to do to make this live, um, the only one I think that will pull is the search bar. Let me just double check those settings. Um, yes, so the text for search has the placeholder as the search bar. So this will um, enable your visitors to search your entire blog. So this won't search your whole website, but this will search anything in your WordPress blog. Now for the categories, what you'll want to do, now there's a few examples that are um, already plugged in for you, but you could add more or um, change the text. This is just a text box, so you could click in there and change the text. Let me just uh, pull this up on the mobile so you can see that at the same time. Here's the mobile view. Okay, so um, what you'll want to do when you have your categories set is you'll want to come to the click actions and set this to um, URL. And uh, the URL will be your domain name slash category slash whatever the category name is. Uh, show it already has a tutorial about this. Let me just uh, click over here so you can see linking to a category. So again the click actions tab that we talked about the URL and then the URL will be your domain dot com slash category slash whatever the category slug is. So weddings or engagements or um, you know whatever category that you have set up inside of WordPress, that's what you'll use as the click action. So when you set that to these uh, individual text boxes, that will enable your user to then filter and see all the posts with that category slug. Now let's jump down to the featured post canvas. This canvas is set to post view lookup. So what that means is you're going to have these different options here to uh, customize this particular canvas. This is going to be perfect for um, obviously featured posts or if you wanted to highlight a certain category you could change that as well. So this is just um, text that is not linked to WordPress so you could change this title if you want to. Um, but all of these other details, you'll see when I click on it, uh, you'll see that it post title pops up. If I go over to the properties, you'll see that it, the placeholder is set to the post title. So that's going to pull from WordPress, whereas this one doesn't have a placeholder. So that's just going to stay the same inside of your canvas. The image, uh, you can see that I have WordPress featured image selected, so that's going to be the featured image that you set inside of WordPress. That's the one that's going to show up here. And this will be the post excerpt, so a small bit of text from that particular post will show. Now it's set to crop here so that everything stays nice and neat, so it would you know, it may crop this text, it won't bleed over, but you will be able to still see all these, you know, buttons here below. And um, you can see that the the placeholder text has already been set for you. And then this is going to link to your um, to your particular post. Now, to get this working right, I'm going to uh, deselect any of the elements. I'm just going to click direct, directly on the canvas and look at this panel over here on the right. So you can change uh, a few different things about it. You can set a different category slug or tag name slug. Now these are all um, 
settings that you're going to have uh, in WordPress. So these will be set up in WordPress and you just need to plug in the right uh, titles here. So for example, if you wanted this to be all of your featured posts, then you would probably have a WordPress uh, category slug or a, a tag name slug with the, with the name featured or featured posts, whatever, whatever you're going to use inside of WordPress, you need to use the exact same name here. So that's how it's going to tell, um, that's how it's going to tell this canvas to pull those exact posts. Now you can also set the number of posts. I have it set to three and that's, um, you see these arrows here, that's going to enable your user to click through. Um, let's just quickly go back to the demo version and scroll up. So this is the canvas. This is a demo. When I click the arrows, it will cycle through all of those posts. Now it's cycling through three of them. And the reason it's three is because that's what's selected here. Now, if you want that to be five or you want that to be 10, you can just change it. You can also um, adjust it by uh, date, by comment count. So you, you know, this could be your most popular posts or by a few other, you know, different settings. And you can just play around with this to get uh, to get the exact settings that you want. But essentially, um, the the canvas, you know, layers and everything is already set up for you to use. The only thing you need to be sure that you're uh, pulling from is that you use the correct category slug or the tag name slug that's going to, you know, com communicate with WordPress that it knows e exactly which types of posts it needs to show here. So moving on down, we have the next canvas view, which is um, the in post loop. So that's the beginning of the three columns that are next to each other, as you can see on the demo. Um, but the setup looks a little bit different. That's why we create a demo page so that you can kind of envision what it actually looks like. Um, because on the back end of this, everything is set up into different views. So this canvas is set to WordPress in post loop and combine views as posts. So all of the elements are then placed inside these individual views. And that's what, uh, you know, WordPress, WordPress will pull those categories in and display them next to each other, as you see in the demo. And these are all set, um, appropriately. So you'll see, uh, it's, it's the WordPress featured image. Um, this will be, if I look at the text properties, uh, the post categories, and then here you have a post title. And just to get a view of that on the mobile, it's the same. They're just going to be stacked on top of each other like this. So as we go down a little bit further to the next one, this one is set to next post start. So this is kind of the alternating style that I've made for this template where you have three um, side by side and then you have one larger one so that it's kind of like breaking up um, those columns. So this will also just be one of your uh, regular, um, your regular posts that are, you know, being filtered from WordPress. It's set to the featured image. This will be the title, the category, a short excerpt, and then this will link to your post. Now, how many posts show on a page? That's a setting that you can choose in WordPress. So inside of WordPress, you can indicate how many posts, how many times you want these two canvases to repeat across the page. So as we get to the bottom of the page, I have another static content canvas that's set up. Um, I call this the CTA to the experience. So ideally, you know, if your blog is bringing in a lot of traffic, you want to funnel that in, into your services page or, you know, into your website so that they keep exploring and they get to know your brand a little better. So at the bottom of the page, I have this canvas. Obviously, these are just... Um, text boxes and images where you can double click and change the image like other um, canvases throughout the site, double click to change the text. 
And then here you'll want to set your click action appropriately for this button. Right now it's set to the experience page, but you could send, you know, you could send this traffic to your contact page or wherever you would want them to go next, essentially. So to sum up, essentially you'll do all of your blogging inside of WordPress. So you'll have a WordPress account and that's where you'll create your posts. But the beauty of combining this with Show It is that you can do all of the styling and design elements and layouts inside of Show It. And that's how your blog posts will display. So you won't create any individual posts inside of Show It. You'll do all of that in WordPress. But as long as all of these um, settings are set properly to communicate with WordPress, then it's going to pull those posts and display them on your site accordingly. One last thing, when you're ready to launch your new website, uh, whether you are starting a new blog or you have a blog to migrate in, the Show It team will help you out with that. Now I've already connected this domain, but um, normally you will see here, before you launch, you'll see connect your domain in place of uh, this URL right here. Now clicking that will start you on the path to uh, getting your site set up. So, you know, there'll be a little form to fill out for the Show It team, and then they will be in touch with you. Typically, um, this takes about two or three business days to process, uh, sometimes sooner, but then they, they will get back to you and set up the blog for you. In fact, Show It has a vast library of help documents and tutorials. Many are on the subject of your blog setup or, you know, making sure that all of your WordPress settings are correct. And uh, in addition to all of that, you also have the live chat that is available. If I just click back over here, you have the um, live chat that's available inside of the Show It app if you have questions.